Hey guys, it's Rob Sipek with Paperless Student. In today's video, I will be reviewing Nebo, which is the best handwriting recognition app on App Store. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe if you're looking for a solution to go paperless with your studies or your business. And if you're already subscribed, make sure you turn on your notifications so you know when I release a new video. If you're really slow when typing or you just dislike typing but you prefer to have typed notes, Nibo is definitely the app you want to buy for your note-taking needs. This is an app from MyScript. It's available on Windows, iOS and Android. If you've been looking for an app that works across multiple platforms, Nibo's got you covered. Under settings, you can select the language you want, the application to support. Nibo supports a total of 66 languages and their list keeps growing. If you can see your language on the list, pause the video and let me know in the comment section down below. You can set your approximation preference. You can pick an angle unit and turn on calculations for equations. Last time I signed into Nebo, they had no option to sign out, so now I'm just in the habit of not signing in. But signing in helps you sync your notes across your devices, which personally I don't need at the moment. Next to your settings, you can access your notebooks. Creating notebooks is very easy in this application. Tap on this plus icon to create a notebook or a collection. A collection is basically a folder. Just like this folder that comes with the app when you purchase it. Under your folder, when you tap your folder, you will have all your notebooks below it. And when you tap on the notebook here, underneath your folder, you then see the pages here on the right. You can easily edit, mostly just deleting notebooks, basically. And slide the tab, the collection tab, to the left to delete it. When you tap on a notebook, you get to see all the pages in your notebook here on the right. This plus icon allows you to add a new page to your notebook. And you can easily delete pages with this selection tool. The very top of your page contains the name of the page, which you can see here on the home page underneath each page. Nebo has had some very interesting updates since I last reviewed it on this channel. And the first one is that now you can type in the application. I really like this feature because it's very useful for those of us that type very fast and really want to type their notes, but they also want the ability to add diagrams and equations using their Apple Pencil. Have you ever been in a lecture where you are typing, but there's a diagram that the professor asks you to draw and you just stuck? Well, this is where Nebo comes in very handy. You can even have text and handwriting in the same word or the same sentence. How fantastic is that? Your pen still comes with a few sizes to choose from. The variety is very decent and there's something for everyone. You also get an eraser. Next, you get your color choices, which you can add as many custom colors as you like using this plus icon. I am not sure just how many colors you can add here, but the truth is all of us need a certain number of colors. The handwriting experience in Nebo is one of the best on the market. Writing feels smooth, there is no lag, and the application really captures how my handwriting looks on paper, which I absolutely love. As you're writing, it gives you a real-time conversion of your handwriting at the top here, allowing you to make any corrections as soon as you spot an error. For some, this might be annoying, so you can turn it off in the settings. where it says conversion preview. I prefer mine turned on because I prefer making the corrections while I'm writing than doing them later. 
To convert a section, simply double tap it, double tap it again to lock editing the notes. Any attempt to edit this locked section prompts a notification to double tap for editing. So if I wanted to edit this section, I have to double tap it. Nebo has a lot of gestures that make the note-taking experience in this application fun. To create a heading, write your heading on a new line and underline it twice to make it an H1 heading, which is your main heading. And underline once for a subheading, which makes sense logically when you think about it. Very handy when you're taking quick notes because you don't have time to organize your notes and worry about headings. You can also underline words within sentences to make them bold for emphasis. Draw a circle or a square around a section you want to highlight. Just remember to select the color you want for your highlight before using it. Draw a line from the top to the bottom to separate words or paragraphs. Draw a line from the bottom to the top to combine words, letters or paragraphs. You can also strike out a word to erase it or scribble over it to erase it. To change the color of your paragraph, simply tap on it and select the color you want. You can also change your notes to title, subtitle or paragraph using this icon here on the top left corner of your selected paragraph. These three dots on the right let you finish editing this section or they allow you to copy or delete the section. One of you guys asked me how accurate Nibo is when converting strange words like drug names for example and I hope this short demo gives you a rough idea of the level of accuracy you will get in the application. For handwriting conversion, not only does it use the way you create your characters, but it also uses its knowledge of basic language, like for example, in my case, English. Nibo takes some time to get to know your handwriting. So the more you write in the application and the easier the application will recognize your, your handwriting. Writing non-English words was a massive pain. It seems the application is relying more on the dictionary than it is on registering the letters that I was putting in the application and this made it not so accurate. Which is sad to see because Nebo did really well in this department the last time I checked but then again I have not been using this application for a long time. Nebo is an application that learns your handwriting while you are writing so the more you write in the application the better the conversion becomes probably the application has forgotten my handwriting how it looks like so yeah those of you guys that are using Nebo just help share your experiences in the comment section down below it might help those that want to purchase the application these are the types of bullets four bullet points supported by Nebo Apart from taking notes, you can add photos, sketches, diagrams, and math equations to your notes. Nibo does not convert your sketches and annotations on your photos, but it can convert your diagrams. So if you want to create a mind map and you want to convert it, you have to make it a diagram, which is very handy because I don't think I want my sketches converted by Nibo. You can add complex math equations like the example they have here and the application can show you answers for your calculations if you have the calculations options turned on in your settings. I don't think this application would be allowed in your classroom if you're in high school. Just a thought. The search tool can search both your handwriting and text without any problems. You can convert everything on the page or clear it with this three dot icon. When exporting, you can export as a PDF and this option is only available on iOS. They make that very clear. 
Even if you haven't converted your handwriting, the application will automatically convert your handwriting when you export it. That is what the application does. That's what OCR is all about. That's why it is the best handwriting recognition app, not the best handwriting note-taking app. So everything you write on the page will be converted unless it's a photo annotation or a sketch. Those are the only things that will not be converted when you are exporting your notes. You can export text, word, and HTML formats as well. The app has no selection tool. I can't move things around in the application. I want to change the position of my diagram within the frame and I simply can't do it. I want it in the middle, but there's no way of doing that in the application. I can only resize it and move it to the center, which is not really the same thing. Nebo definitely needs to add a lasso or selection tool because this is a must have for any note taking application. Another thing I don't like is that the application has no way of restoring your files when you delete them. An option to recover your deleted files is always great to have in any application. And Nebo is missing this feature, so that's a disadvantage. If handwriting recognition and conversion is a big part of your note-taking style, or if you struggle reading what you've written two weeks down the line, consider getting Nebo. I hope you guys liked this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Let me know what you guys think about Nebo as a note-taking application. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.